Hey, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Real Agents of Change, where we frankly just bring together real estate agents, nonprofits, visionary leaders, and the community that supports and serves our real estate and nonprofit friends because we are certifying charitable real estate specialists all over the country. And Tish is our in interview for today. And I'm super excited about Tish because she, you have nonprofit and real estate background. Please Tish, share with us a little bit about yourself and specifically why are you a real agent of change and what attracts you to this group? Thanks, Cammie, and thanks for having me today. I, you know, I grew up in the Air Force, so we moved a lot. We saw, I saw a lot of things. I've, I've been, I've traveled around the world. I've seen poverty at, at, at its lowest level, and I've always felt compelled to help somehow make this world a better place. It doesn't matter, you know, what what I do. I guess you know, I've always thought just help, just help, just help. So I've been in real estate 35 years. Um, but about 10 years ago or so, when the market was not easy, I went to work for a nonprofit and I found out that that was such a great way to be able to help more people, in, in my opinion, than just selling a house or whatever. So I, I've been with nonprofits and I'm currently with a nonprofit called the Ark of Martin County. I love what I do. I love working with these children and adults with disabilities and their smiles and, and the way they make me feel. And, and I know I'm making a difference in their life. But there's also that side that says, wow, you know, I spend three months or six months trying to plan something and a fundraiser, that's my job. And I get to the end of it and I say, wow, there's gotta be an easier way. That's a lot of work. Not that I don't enjoy them. They're great fun, everybody enjoys them. But so when, when you reached out to me or I reached out to you. I can't remember exactly, but I believe everything introduced. Happy, everything happens for a reason. I think Alex from EXP introduced us, and he said, "You're you're in a nonprofit. You need to find out more about this." So I said, "Okay," and I just latched on because there's to me it's such an interesting way of being able to bring together, you know, the money, the donors with what they want to do, which is give these non-asset properties you know, or non-cash asset pro properties to charity for whatever their reasons are, whether it's philanthropy, I can't say that word, philanthropy, <laughs> philanthropy, or, or it's because they need a tax break or whatever it is. So, and being able to hand my nonprofit or even multiple nonprofits in my area a check for 100,000 or more to me without even doing a fundraiser is a win-win situation for everyone. I love having you here because your perspective is very unique. You know, a lot of our, uh, our, our real agents of change are real estate agents and some are nonprofits, but you specifically are a fundraiser for nonprofits. And, you know, for those who are listening, if you love doing fundraisers, you know, you love the car shows, you love the big sales, you love the community support and getting together with friends and shaking hands and holding babies and all that, that's awesome. You can just add this to the flyer. But for some people whose fundraisers are being canceled or not well attended, et cetera, what a beautiful blessing to know that the average amount of a donation from a piece of real estate is five hundred and fifty thousand dollars and that goes a lot further than a bake sale or a ballroom function or begging our friends to buy a raffle ticket yeah absolutely that's why i'm here that's why i so, got my certification i'm like ready to go <laughs> so you mentioned the one nonprofit that you work with and for now there's 1.3 million nonprofits in this country and we can serve and help all of them with no risk to them what are some in your area that you would love to see benefit from this as you spread the good word? You know, I live in a county that has a lot of wealth and there's probably 1,500 nonprofits in the county I live in alone. Mm. Um, out of that, I mean, there's breast cancer groups, there's veteran groups, there's Make-A-Wish, there's a lot of different groups that I would like to be able to help support and I have in the past through my volunteering with nonprofits, but 
this would be amazing, you know? Uh, there's a breast cancer group locally called Friends in Pink, and they they provide support and money, financial assistance to people who are uninsured or underinsured. It, what a difference it makes in those women's lives, or sometimes men, as they can get breast cancer as well. So, you know, the veterans groups, there's some great ones around here. I love what they do. I've helped put on fishing tournaments with them to help raise money. and. Again, it's great, but wow, doing charitable real estate and trying to connect the donors with the nonprofits in that sense, to me, makes so much sense. And it just, it would be such a pleasure and warm my heart and make me feel good about who I am and the legacy I'll leave behind. It will be your pleasure and your honor because it's happening and it's happening all around us. $8 billion last year was donated to nonprofits through donations of real estate. And that's with really less than a half of a half of a half a percent of realtors and nonprofits even knowing that this is possible. But we have a system, we have a team, we have a way to make this risk-free for all of your nonprofit friends. So tell us a little bit, Tish, about your marketplace. I know that it's a wealthy area and you got 1,500 or so nonprofits. What towns or counties do you work in so that when people are watching, they know uh, where they can find you? Sure. Most people refer to my area as the Treasure Coast. We're located just north of the West Palm Beach area, um, but the Treasure Coast encompasses anywhere from North Palm, Palm Beach County all the way up through Indian River County. I'm in Martin County. We have other adjoining counties like St. Lucie County, Okeechobee County, um, about five counties in all that we consider to be the Treasure Coast. It's There's lots of water here. There's a lot of water pro property. There's a lot of wealth here. Um, well, I know as I travel in my RV and I'm hula hooping all over the country, spreading the good word of charitable real estate, my RV is going to be parked outside your place for at least a week, maybe a month. That's right. Place I I want. You know, I, I just did an interview with uh, with Ren Nix in Star, Idaho, and they call her area the Treasure Valley. You guys should do some treasure hunting together. <laughs> Tell us, Tish, yes. something about you that has nothing to do with where you're from or what you do for work. What is something that people don't typically know about you? I spent three years cruising the Caribbean on a 60 foot sport fish with one other person and something I'll never forget. Wow, that is fascinating. Do you have a boat now? Nope, I just play with other people's. <laughs> it works out fine. Well, for our viewers, know that if you have a boat in the Treasure Coast, Tish would like to go sailing with you and- Fishing. <laughs> Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. If you think that you're a real agent of change, whether you're a real estate agent or a visionary nonprofit or a leader or community person who supports and loves those industries, our industries, reach out to us and let us know that you want to be a part of this movement. The real agents of change are all about funding nonprofits. And the beauty of this is we can't fund nonprofits unless our real estate agents get a full commission and our agents can't get that full commission unless nonprofits are being funded. It's really a win-win-win for everyone, including the property donors. Reach out to us. We'll let you know how that works. Tish, it's been yes. an honor getting to know you. We are just beginning and um, I can't wait until you get that first, first donation, that first listing and have that first check of 50,000, 100,000, 550,000 to hand to nonprofits in your local community. I can't wait to see what they do with that money on your behalf. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I look forward to learning a lot more with you.